Alright, so now let's take a look at this uh, shin parameter from V-Ray Materials, a new feature was added and uh, in order to see that I'm going to select my cloth, create a new material, uh, activate V-Ray, now let's give this material a um, different color here, I'm gonna give it a little red and I'm also going to give slight uh, reflection so before we do that let me show you what's happening to this material so I'm going to start our render actually the best if I put a camera there so let's do that I'm going to select this frame and click on the camera and now we have our camera all right so now let's click render see what we get okay so we're getting this nice looking cloth material and i'm going to put it on the progressive ipr that way we'll be able to see what's going on with this material in life in real time now i'm gonna add reflection so you see the reflection kind of getting really uh hard it looks more or less like uh, very shiny leather latex so i'm gonna add more blurriness to it And I'm also going to give a color that is actually reflecting here. That way it will match the reflections. All right. Now, if I really want to do something that looks like cloth, I have to lower down the glossiness all the way down in order to make it nice and smooth cloth looking object but again the reflections looking kind of flat a little odd not not there much so it's almost there but now we can add more of that shin parameter so if you scroll down and open shin parameters this is where you'll be able to find that shin so now let's give a, a little color to it and uh, voila we're getting this nice highlight on top and uh, the more we go lower with parameter the more sheen appears so let's bring it down all the way to 29 something like that now you can see it's getting really nice reflections kind of soft coat of that sheen all the details of the cloth started coming out and we get those nice uh, reflections on the folding areas okay so I'm gonna bring it up a little bit maybe it's a little too much so I'm gonna have nice soft reflections so that's a sheen parameter very cool option to improve your cloth materials we have also presets for those red velvet let's try this one as you can see it's got this dark color here with very similar reflection to it very gray um, not that saturated 0.24 very low glossiness and on the shin parameters we have this one here which gives this cloth a really cool look in my opinion so if we play around with the sheen we can see how this affects the presence of this nice soft glossy highlights all right we have a couple of those presets white and obviously this is very overexposed looking and that actually caused by 
color mapping. So let me go and switch color mapping to, from Reinhardt to Exponential. And let's do this render again. All right, we can see a lot of those hotspots were fixed. Okay, now I'm going to stop this render, put it on the progressive IPR, and let's check final pink sateen. That's another preset for cloth. And uh, that stuff is looking great. So thanks a lot to Chaos for adding those free presets here. They actually work like additional layer of coating upon, upon that material and improves the overall look of cloth objects in your scene. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and watch the next ones.